السلام عليكم شبابنا الغالي عاملين ايه يا رب تكونوا في احسن صحه واحسن حال وهدوء وتركيز عالي ان شاء الله النهارده مع بعض نحل موديل اكزام جديد نراجع من خلاله على المنهج بتاعنا كويستشن 1 بيقول لي ترانزيشن ميتال اكس ترانزيشن ميتال اكس وين ميكسد ويز وان اوف ايرن الويز ات ا هاي تمبرتشر فورمز ا ميكستشر هاردر ذان ستيل عرفنا اكس اكس منجنيز فيرو منجنيز الوي هاردر ذان ستيل ذا كومباوند اوف اكس اكس او 2 ام ان او 2 منجنيز دايوكسيد وبيسالني على ذا يوز اوف منجنيز دايوكسيد ان دراي باترز اند از ا كاتاليست ان اوكسجين جاس بريبريشن كوريكت انسر Manganese dioxide used as oxidizing agent in dry pattern and the catalyst in preparation of oxygen from hydrogen peroxide. From the following reactions, we need two equations of two reactions. Which of the following is correct? Oxidation for the transition element in the first reaction, in the first reaction, titanium. Four positive in titanium dioxide converted to Titanium trioxide in which titanium carry three positive charge as oxidation number. Oxidation for transition element, titanium reduced, not oxidized. B, oxidation for transition element in the second reaction, oxidation number of manganese in reactants, four positive. In products, two positive. So it reduced, not oxidized. A less stable compound is formed in the first reaction Titanium, four positive, ended by 3D empty, zero. So it's more stable than products. If a less stable compound is formed in the first reaction is a correct answer. D, a less stable compound is formed in the second reaction, less stable. Manganese two positive, ended by 3D, five. More stable, not less stable. So the correct answer, C. The next question. The ratio between number of unpaired electrons in element A, which act as a catalyst in ammonia production. Iron. Iron act as a catalyst in hopper push method. To that, in element B, which acts as a catalyst in oil hydrogenation. Nickel B is nickel. Ratio between element A and B related to the number of unpaired electrons. Unpaired electrons in D sub level in iron atom, four unpaired electrons. While in nickel, two unpaired electrons. So the ratio between the number of unpaired electrons, element A to B, Two to one. Two to one. In element B. Yeah, but correct answer A. The next question. Two elements, A and B. Element A is paramagnetic in its atomic state and has only one oxidation state. Only one oxidation state for transition element scandium. Element B, one of its oxides, B2O5, is used in manufacture of dyes. Vanadium pentaoxide, so element B is vanadium. A scandium and B vanadium, the correct answer is A. Scandium manganese, wrong. Manganese zinc, wrong. Vanadium zinc, wrong. So the correct answer is A. The next question, which of the following is the correct order to obtain iron from iron-3 salt? Iron-3 salt, maybe iron-3 chloride, or iron-3 sulfate. How to obtain iron? Thermal decomposition of iron-3 salt, wrong. Reduction of iron-3 salt, iron-3, difficult to be reduced. 
reaction with an alkaline solution iron three salt react with alkali ammonia solution or sodium hydroxide give ir free hydroxide thermal decomposition thermal decomposition of iron three oxide above 200 give iron three oxide reduction above 700 by carbon monoxide or hydrogen give ir correct answer c give iron from iron three salt the next question which of the following cations precipitates carbonate ions from its solution Potassium cations give potassium carbonate soluble in water, sodium carbonate soluble in water, ammonium carbonate soluble in water. All of carbonate ions insoluble in water except potassium, sodium, ammonium carbonate soluble in water. Minium precipitation little carbonate from its salt, from its solution. Calcium, forming calcium carbonate, white precipitate. The next question, which of the following compounds doesn't dissolve in hydrochloric acid? Barium sulfate, soluble in hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid cannot replace sulfate from its salt, as hydrochloric acid is less stable than sulfuric acid, cannot replace it in its salt. So barium sulfate insoluble in water. Iron 2 hydroxide base, soluble in Hydrochloric acid, magnesium carbonate, react with hydrochloric acid, carbon dioxide gas evolved. Aluminum hydroxide dissolve in hydrochloric acid. So the correct answer is A. The next question. In adding diluted hydrochloric acid to three solid salts, A, B, and C separate. With A, HCl, give colorless gas b with hcl give gas and precipitate يبقى خلاص عرفنا ان b ده salt contains thio sulfate anion يبقى the correct answer may be a or c طيب ما هو salt a with hydrochloric acid give colorless gas with A, give colored gas. When I see no colorless, so the correct answer is C. Let's C, sulfate. Wa ali hydrochloric acid with the salt C, no reaction occurs. Hydrochloric acid cannot replace sulfuric acid in its salts. So the correct answer, C. The next question, which of the following can be used to distinguish between Hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. Ammonia solution. Ammonia solution with hydrochloric acid give white clouds. With sulfuric acid, no white cloud is formed. So ammonia solution can distinguish hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. Correct answer, A. The next question. Which of the following two solutions can decolorize? Potassium permanganate in acidic medium. Mean salt can decolorize. Acidify potassium permanganate. Salt easily oxidized. Iron 2 sulfate. Iron 2 easily oxidized to iron 3. So it decolorized potassium permanganate. Sodium nitrite. Nitrite anion easily oxidized to nitrate. So iron 2 sulfate and sodium nitrite, both of them decolorize potassium permanganate acidic, acidified solution. Correct answer A. Iron 2 sulfate is oxidized, but sodium nitrate difficult to be oxidized. Iron 3 sulfate difficult to be oxidized. Iron 3 sulfate difficult to be oxidized. Yeah, but I can the correct answer that A. The next question, for the following reaction, magnesium reacts with diluted hydrochloric acid, give magnesium chloride aqueous solution and hydrogen 
gas evolves. Which of the following is correct about the reaction type? It is complete reaction, complete reaction, due to skipping one of the products from the reaction media. Type, افرض قفلنا عليهم in closed vessel. هيبقى incomplete reaction. لو قفلنا على hydrogen with magnesium chloride. هل hydrogen can replace magnesium forming hydrochloric acid and magnesium? No reaction occurs. So the reaction is complete in both cases. In open and in closed system. في الحالتين تقفل عليه تفتح له هو complete reaction. The next question. If Kc of a reversible reaction equals 16. If the reactant concentrations are double. تزودنا concentration of reactants to double. At the same temperature. At the same temperature. At the same temperature. Kc constant at a constant temperature. Kc equals 60. Kc remains equal 60. No change. The next question. Which of the following describes a rule of catalyst? Catalyst increase the concentration of products at equilibrium. Changes the equilibrium constant of chemical reaction. Will I reduce the time needed to reach equilibrium. طبعا عارفين chemical reaction or reversible reaction not affected by adding catalyst. There are three factors affecting on equilibrium state. بتقولوا شتيلية concentration, temperature, pressure. طب وما الكاتاليست has no effect on equilibrium state has no effect لانه increases the rate of forward and backward by the same ratio. فهو بس reduce the time needed to reach equilibrium. هو يوصلنا الاكواليبريم بسرعة لانه هيزود rate of forward and backward by the same ratio. So the correct answer is C.